Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Gentlemen, what is going on Fly here? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing things a little bit different. I'm not taking the most upvoted plane requests just because I can't do it at this very moment and I really, 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 really wanted to play the HS, or excuse me, the HE219er A-7. Now just stand by guys because the two winners from last video of the uh, Nippom, <laughs> Nippom. Anyways, the A6M20 was Canadian Bacon 2500. He says, play the FW200 Condor. Last time I saw that was in 2014, 2013. Wasn't added till a little bit later. But, anyways, um, and then Samuel for the 262 50 mil versus B17. Um, the FW200, you know, I, I need a squad for. Uh, formation fly, so I need to wait for my buddies to get home from work and stuff. And then the 262 50 mil versus B17, which will be done on my stream later in a custom battle. So in the meantime, I thought that I would take out the uh, HE219er A-7. This plane just looks phenomenal. If you guys aren't familiar with this plane and its history it, it's had in War Thunder, this was a user-made model put into the game. Someone posted this uh, on the War Thunder Live. It got some shout outs. And then all of a sudden, there wasn't really much talk about it until it's like initial release. It was in the game. Uh, it costs about 3,500 Golden Eagles. And I don't know of half of that, nor does maybe 10%, but a chunk of it goes uh, to the original designer of this model. And I think he's earned somewhat up uppers of eight thousand dollars from this which is pretty insane man now let's dissect this thing and see what it has to offer <laughs> yes dude it's got two mk 103s it's got two mk 108s and it's got two mg 151 so a fantastic bomber hunter slash ground striker now modifications let's see this is the uh, we can tell here, this is the MK-103, so we're going to get universal. We just want high explosive for soft targets. Uh, 20 mil, uh, we'll get air targets. Well, hang, hang on a second. What's its armor targets? Yeah, we'll get our air, air targets. And then for the MK-103s, we'll get armor targets. 95 millimeters of penetration. Now, how much ammo do we have in that? We only have 200 rounds. At the same time, they're slow cycling. How much does a Horton have? Because that can put it in better perspective. 340. Hmm. What kind of penetration does that MK108 have? Let's see here. Okay, no user skins or no no skins already in the game. Confirm that. Uh, there's no... I'm going to take armor targets on the uh, uh, 20 mils. Just in case that might help later. Don't know if that will take down light tanks, but... Um, these 30 mils will definitely take down like armored vehicles, maybe light tanks and definitely heavy tanks with the 30. Uh, but guys in the comments below, please vote on the next plane I take out for your guys viewing enjoyment. Let's get started. Welcome to Sicily guys, a fantastic ground pounding match. And we have fantastic coverage, uh, from these clowns. I just, I, I don't know if they're going to hold up over the target. It kind of looks like they dissipate, uh, more... Uh, to the well more to the coast that would make sense you know how you know high pressures and low I you know what that's what they tell me all right but here we go our first column now I don't think he's MK no help <laughs> all right we got to take out the oh, okay um, let's let's see what's gonna happen here he, he really shouldn't there we go okay let's dodge this okay beautiful now he's pissed off that he didn't get that quick kill. He's turning around for us. We should be able to outturn him here just for the initial head on because we started turning him much earlier than he did. Here we go. Got him critical. Oh man, okay, RTB mission is done. Now we did lose a flap here. We got a Spitfire, let's call for help one more time. Let's get onto that ground pounding. Now hopefully the AA doesn't ruin my day here. That Spitfire is heading to me right now. 
We'll call it for one more time because no one wants to come help somebody. God damn it. Okay. Ooh, did something change with the MK-103s? Okay, we got a 109 coming down for us. We're going to keep this power or this engine setting in. Keep it going, keep it going. Now, one thing that I wanted to see if I could do is to change um, what 30 mil I used. Okay, boys, there's a fighter right down. All right, come on. Help! Yes! Here comes the 109. Let's keep dragging him. Now we're gonna cool our engine. Now we're gonna start turning to assist. See, that's how teamwork works right there. Now where did that 109 go? Okay, hang on, hang on here. Head on time. Got a hit on him, gosh darn it, I thought we would've got him right there. Keep the power setting in, full power. Okay, the 109s are leaving me to die here. Keep the power setting up here. I'll drag him to the left. Hopefully the 109s are going to want this bait. The thing that's holding them up, them up right now is that they have two more higher Spitfires. Okay, rip me. He's, he's getting really close. Let's go for a dive to increase airspeed. He's pulling off again. We're going to turn again. Thank you, hen dog, my man. Here we go. Got some sparks right there. God damn it. Keep the engine nice and cool here. We're going to have to RTB soon. But we got to keep helping this 109 out. The Spitfire just stall climbed. Another hit on him. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Woo! <laughs> oh man. So that game we got two kills on the Wyvern in that spit. So the ammo is fine. Universal for the 30 mil MK 108. 20 mils air targets. And HVAP for the 30 mils. I don't know if there's been a nerf or maybe we didn't hit. Um, it could be my uh, error in aiming just due to the fact that the MK-103s are higher velocity than the MK-108s and maybe the MG-1 or the MG-151 so I thought I was hitting but those were just high explosive shells hitting the target. Now we are on Norway. I don't really know what I can do uh, but I think the carriers will send out, or the destroyers will send out landing craft to A. And is that them right there? Those are the AI. So maybe we can clear out that AA, or clear out those landing ships so we can maintain A. Because I'll tell you right now, I do not want to fight over this area if, the, um, if it is red. That anti-aircraft is so damn strong. So the mission is take out the landing craft and protect A base. Now where are we going right now? Okay, so it's a little bit over here. Perfect. Now the good thing about being on the Germans is that they don't have any good bombers. <laughs> so primarily a lot of the players play fighters. And if they aren't a fighter, they're a really good attacker like a HS-129er, ME-410, or a DOE-217. That could be uh, the one with 420s in the front. I, I can't tell. Uh, the E-2? No, no, that's a strict bomber, I believe. Still, still a good bomber. Nice and fast, and some good defensive armament, 13 millimeters. 
Okay, so I think Deadly Shadow 262 has the same idea as me, is to take out those landing craft as fast as possible. As you can see right now, we have some flak or artillery rounds going right to left. I don't think those are the landing craft. I think that's this base shooting at A. Let's see where those things are coming from. No, those are the destroyers. Why aren't the destroyers on the map at all? What the heck? Okay, the BTD just killed one of our destroyers. He's ha He has to be over there. I believe. We got some flak opening up as well. There's the landing crafts. Alright, we're on route here. We do not want these guys to capture this base at all. Because I said in the intro to this gameplay, once this is not in our control, this it's a very hostile environment to fight over. And normally the fight happens over A. So if we can... Uh, Keep this base ours, it's going to aid us in the victory. Okay, let's go 85%. There's no air brakes on this craft. Now, hopefully, the landing crafts don't take me out. That'd be super embarrassing. Go 50%. Nice and clear. No enemies in sight yet. Some pretty decent cloud coverage this game. Now, we'll take out the front if we can. Let's get it more in diagonal line here so I take out the, yeah, here we go. Get two down right there, going back around. Sharp turn. BTD right there. We'll go with a head on with this guy. Damage to elevator, nothing more than that though. No, no, we're gonna outrun him. We can't fight him right now. He's he's he turns way better than us. But let's call him out for our team. I would think if this if if I got that amount of time of burst on him, he would be dead instantly. This guy is crazy though. Flaps out. Here we go for the kill, maybe. Got him critical. He's going to have a hard time RTB into base. He has a broken left wing, but he's still flyable. We got to get back to our main mission here. I'll tell you right now, those MK-103s, velocity is so much higher than every round, so it's kind of hard to aim sometimes. I go back around. Let's try to get those MK-103s on target perfectly this time around. That BTD is coming back in. Getting the hell out of there. You would think our anti-aircraft would be able to take a guy out called Kilometer away, but they're not budging at all. Now I have another BTD right behind me. Let's bring him over the anti-aircraft if possible. He's getting really close. Keep that speed up. He's opening up. Ooh, he turned away. Holy shit, what the fuck? That's... Perfect. Okay, alright. Let's keep the engine a little bit cool now. Now, let's call this guy out to our team. We're going to go in for another run on these landing crafts here. I thought he would have followed through with that. That is discipline and a half. Okay. Everyone's going to leave us alone right here, it looks like. We got two more to take out. Hard left turn. Surprised we've lasted this long. Fantastic. Okay, so that BTD is finally dead that I critical earlier. Earlier, excuse me, I can't even talk. Mission complete. 
All right, who's around us? We have a red dot. I'm gonna RTB at this base real quick. On final approach. Six kilometers out, we have a uh, car landing right there. We have a BTD coming in six kilometers out. All right, so we are fully repaired and ammoed up. We do not get an air spawn, so let's go ahead and get this beast off the ground. Now, players left. There's still a lot of enemy players around. Uh, looks like we got two 109s coming in for a landing, which is fantastic because if those landing ships would have came and captured this, they would have gone long way back to the base. Let's get those takeoff flaps out. Gotta get off the runway so they can take off or land easier. <laughs> that is cool. All right, gear up. Flaps will be raised. And I think that will do it, boys, at least for my duties this game. Uh, what I'm going to be doing from now on until the game ends is just re... Never mind, we got another assault. Another assault from the landing crafts. Okay, so what we're going to do, mission number two, is that... Oh, it looks, it looks like we're going to get some help from the Falcon Wolves and the BF-109s. Is that I would rather wait to um, engage these things just because they're so close to the... Um, <laughs> damn, that guy. They're so much better than me. <laughs> oh, I look like a jackass now. Now, is that dope? Oh, they have the dope. I wish I could get some points from everyone landing at that base I defended, but that doesn't make any sense. All right, fighters. Don't stop making me look bad. Oh, <laughs> What took me about four or five passes, they finished in two. All right. Yeah, so I'm going to go back to what I was doing earlier and just climb up and see if we can spot the enemy planes and take them out. All right, so we just climbed up to about 2,000 meters, cooling off the engines, breaking through the clouds. We got a P-51, a P-47, and a P-38. Let the battle commence. Uh, now... Um, the Jason was way up high. I asked him to dive and he agreed. Uh, but with making him dive for the whole team to uh, help him, we got to actually help him. We can't let him die to this P-38 here. So I'm going to go for that guy first. And then after that kill, which we will, we, which we will get, we got to deal with a 47 and a 51. There we go. Shoot my teammate here. Got him on fire. Let's idle the engines real quick and let the nose come down onto the target. And hold that shit down. Beautiful. Almost killed my teammate there. That was a questionable shooting. Alright, let the engines cool. Oh, we got two more guys still up here. They're gonna bring the battle up high. That's where well. They gotta bring the battle really high to be uh, over advantage or have the advantage over the German Focke-Wolf for the 109. But, let's start the climb. Alright, reporting back in. A P-47 head on with a Focke-Wolf 190 that has 20 mils. Not the best strat, especially if you have the uh, advantage in altitude. Now, um, Raptor in the 51 is taking advantage of the uh, Focke-Wolf 190 stall climb to the P-47. So yeah, let's go ahead and get on this guy as fast as possible. Now this 51 has only the only option he has, or two options, to die or dive. And let's see what happens here. There goes his dive. <laughs> Look at the HS. Or the, wait, is this the HS? No, HE. Sorry guys, so sorry. My apologies. Look at this thing run into the target. And there we go. BF-109 took down the P-51. Now, I'm going to go check. Hmm. They don't have any airfield to go back to. There, there, there was some bombing activity over there. Aha. P-51 down low. <laughs> Aha is not the plane that I was really expecting. I was expecting, like, maybe a, uh, um, a B-17 or B-25. We got two guys here. 
P51 and a Spitfire. Looks like they actually landed on their carrier. <laughs> well done, boys. Well done. Now it's time to die. Yeah, good. I got some fighters behind me that are realizing that there's enemies over here. And what I'm going to do, cool the engines off. And we're going to blow past them a little bit and come back down on their six. And hopefully we can get a nice deflection shot on them. Damn it, that P38 did kill Jay. Indirectly, though, just with damage. Feels pretty nice being way above these guys. Alright, let's be easy, let's be smart. These guys are slow and they are low. Here we go for a first pounce. We're gonna pounce on... The 51 first. Oh, ho, ho, that was sick. All right. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Mr. Spitfire. Oh, okay. Hang on, let's, let's keep it fast. Let's drag him down. And now let's go back up. Let's go back up. Wasn't the most grace, graceful dive, but I... <laughs> that was cool, man. That was a nice dodge by the 51. Now we're going to go in for head-ons now. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, he does. Woo! Got him down! Oh, man! <laughs> nice work, team. Good job. So we almost got that head on on the Spitfire, but our buddy in the 109 cleaned it up right before we got there. And we finished up the game with the kill on the 51. One guy left, though. Never mind. Cleared game. And right as the game ends, the landing ships are sent back out, but too late. Let's see if we can get a... Ooh, 61,000 lions for, for doing something awesome. Long range engagements. Please, please, please. They look pretty damn close, actually. 